What's going on, everyone? So we all know the Lakers-Pacers deal, right? Russell Westbrook, two first-round picks for Buddy Heald and Miles Turner. Uh, now, Russell Westbrook has shown an improvement coming off the bench. Granted, it's only one game, uh, well, two games since he came off the bench, but one game where he really thrived, and we got to see sort of the whole package, AD uh, there, Russ coming off the bench, and we had success. We got our first win, right? Russell Westbrook looked fantastic. 18 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. And... The Lakers are very likely going to have more deals and potential. Like right? every week, it seems like a new team is coming out of the woodworks, and the Lakers are in negotiations with them, and there's at least conversations and talks. And for the Lakers, they just need to tread water, right? Luckily, everybody in the West right now is kind of in the same spot, right? Like the Lakers are only like two games out of fifth or sixth place. So they're not like so desperate it's time to panic and flip the switch. But if the Lakers, you know, are one in nine through 10 games, then yeah, it's an issue. But if the Lakers can just stay afloat, then the Lakers wouldn't have the need to desperately do a trade, right? And the whole thing of Buddy Hill and Miles Turner, as great as that deal would be, I don't think that that really changes the tide. We need multiple guys, not just one and two. And Miles Turner has came out and he has basically said everything except for trade me, do it now, get it done, <laughs> right? He said that the, the Lakers really need to take a hard look at the deal. He basically advocated for the Lakers to go and trade for him. And now here's the thing. What if the Lakers just go and trade for Miles Turner by himself and don't trade Russell Westbrook, right? Now, Here's the thing, I'm not saying that they shouldn't trade Russ. I actually still think that they need to find a Russell Westbrook deal. But you can get Miles Turner by himself without getting on Buddy Heald. And you could still have Russell Westbrook and draft picks to go and move for like another deal. Because at the end of the day, regardless, the Lakers need multiple players. Buddy Heald and Miles Turner, as great as they might make us, they're not going to put us over the top. But you go get Miles Turner now for, say, call it, uh, you know, Patrick Beverly and like winning Gabriel or, you know, Damian Jones, right? Maybe you want to keep winning Gabriel because he's a guy you could wave. So maybe you do Damian Jones. So let's say Patrick Beverly and Damian Jones for Miles Turner, and you also give up one first, right? So you get Miles Turner, boom. Now you don't have any long term salary because Patrick Beverly is just an even swap, and all the Indiana Pacers want, the Pacers just want something for Miles Turner because they know he's leaving after this season. So if you could give up a first round pick, you get Miles Turner. Now you have Anthony Davis, Miles Turner, LeBron James, call it Dennis Schroeder when he gets back. And then you have, uh, you know, you have like a walker, right? There's your starting five. Now you have Russell Westbrook. If Russell Westbrook continues to thrive off the bench as the sixth man, things are looking really good. Well, then fine. You could leave it if you needed to. Like, let's say it really does work. Let's say it's fantastic. And Russell Westbrook is just killing it as the sixth man. And, you know, Miles Turner and Anthony Davis are working because now Anthony Davis can play the four. And Miles Turner wants to play the five. He never wanted to play the four spot. He wanted to play the five. Well, now he can play the five. You get that floor spacing big. Get everything. Everybody's just kind of fit into their own natural positions. Then you could keep it as is, right? And you still have all that cap flexibility next season, and you'd still have one first. But let's say that you uh, let's say you do want to still do a deal later on. Well, you got one first, and you still have Russell Westbrook's contract to go and maybe do a Hornets deal, right? Because if you get Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward, you're probably not giving up any picks. You're probably just doing because you're taking on such long-term salary, right? You're taking on Gordon Hayward. And you're taking on Terry Rozier's like 150 million over the next four years. Like that's a lot of money to take on for the Lakers. I'm saying collectively, they don't each individually have 150 million. But no, you got Rozier's 100 million over four years. You got Gordon Hayward making about 50 million over the next two years. That is a long-term salary that you'd have to take on. Russell Westbrook is expiring. It wipes the books. But you do have that one first if you need to do it. If you need to give that up. Also, you know, let's say the Kyrie thing, right? The Nets are going through all kinds of problems. Well, the Nets need players because they can't replace Kyrie Irving, right? They're cap strapped. Well, you would have instead of two firsts in Russell Westbrook, you would have a first Russell Westbrook and Miles Turner if you wanted to do something like that. If they, which the Brooklyn Nets have wanted Miles Turner for years now, right? So, and a worst case scenario, say through it all, 
you still you have Miles Turner that you could re-sign and keep for the long haul, and you still got a first round pick that you can use to to trade or try to work something out, maybe in the offseason, whatever, to go get pieces. I think that the Lakers should at least look at going and getting Miles Turner. Even if Russell Westbrook works, right, then I still think you go get Miles Turner. Like, even if they come to the conclusion tomorrow, right, hey, Russ is killing it. Like, let's keep Russell Westbrook. Let's ride him through the rest of the season. You still could go get Miles Turner, and I think Miles Turner can make an impact. My only concern with Miles Turner is his injury history, right? He's an injury prone player, and we already have Anthony Davis. And that's another thing. There are a lot of flaws and concerns I have with Miles Turner, and why I don't want to go do the deal for a package of both Buddy Hield and Miles Turner. Because if you go do the Buddy Hield and Miles Turner deal, you're stuck, right? You have no way out. But if you could move Patrick Beverly, who he hasn't really had the impact for us this year, you already have so many guards. You'd still have Kendrick Nunn you can move off of. Dennis Schroeder's coming back. Especially if Russ is really working and thriving, you want to keep him, right? Or, you know, move him for a multiplayer deal. Now you get four or five players, right? I think however you shake it, that's the alternative. My concern with going after Buddy Heald and Miles Turner for both first and Russell Westbrook you have no way out. You're stuck. That's it. There is no escape, right? Because now you're cap strapped because if like, let's say Miles Turner doesn't work out and he leaves, well, you're screwed because you got Buddy Heald on a $22 million contract. So all of your cap space is gone and you have no first round picks to move off of anybody. But if you can keep one of your first and just go get Miles Turner and things don't work out, You still have Russ's contract that you can use to go get multiple guys and a first-round pick, and you could always just let everybody go. You still have a first-round pick, and you have all that cap space. And if you unload Damian Jones, you don't have to worry about him opting into his $2 million and messing up your cap space. So I just think however you shake it, like that might be the best alternative. And then if you can go do a a Hornets deal, go do a Hornets deal, you know? Get you your shooting that could get you your wing depth, right? So basically, you're using Russell Westbrook to go get you know two or three wing type players or shooting and scoring rather than just one with a uh, uh, you know a Pacers deal, right? Because I don't think Buddy Heald by himself is going to completely change the skill the landscape of the Lakers. But if you can get two or three shooters, now you're looking at a different scenario, right? So like, what if you went and you did you know Miles Turner? You go get Miles Turner for uh, Patrick Beverly and Damian Jones, right? For uh, for uh, you know the the so you're basically doing a two for one, so that opens up a roster spot. Then you can go look at the Hornets deal and say, hey, we'll give you Russ and maybe a Kendrick Nunn for Kelly Oubre, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, or if you can try to get PJ Washington, that would be even better. But if you could get those three, now you've unloaded you've unloaded four guys for four guys, right? And you're you're in a good spot. Now you got your wing depth, you got your center, you got your and all these guys are young enough to be your team for the future. So if it works great, everything's working out, you're cruising, you got your three-point shooting, you got a proven scorer and like a Terry Rogier, Gordon Hayward. Well, now you can take the risk on a Gordon Hayward, on a Miles Turner, because you ended up getting several guys. So if one of them don't work out, you're not in panic mode where it's like, we just gave up everything and we're screwed. No, now you have, say Miles Turner goes down. Well, you still have Anthony Davis. You still have Thomas Bryant. You you have all these other guys. You know, you have Kelly Oubre, Gordon Hayward. Like imagine a starting five of like LeBron James, Gordon Hayward, Terry Rozier, Anthony Davis, and uh, Miles Turner, right? And you still have Kelly Oubre, Dennis Schroeder, Thomas Bryant. Uh, you know, I mean, come on. Like, how much How much more do you need? Like, if that's not a contender, I don't know what is. Like, that might be one of the best teams and one of the deepest teams in the league if you could work something like that out. And you basically just did a whole roster rehaul, right? Our problem is we have a lot of guys that are playing positions and playing roles that they aren't made for, right? Like Walker, he's not supposed to be your third best player. He's supposed to be like your fifth or sixth best player. So it's like he's averaging 15 a game. It's like, man, we're getting some great production. Well, if he's, you know, our sixth or seventh man and he's putting up 15 a game, well, now that just changed the landscape of the Lakers. 
you know, and you get proven guys like Gordon Hayward, Miles Turner, Terry Rozier, you know, Kelly Oubre. These are guys that have played those roles, that do deliver in those roles, stuff like that. So, like, if I was the Lakers, I'd be trying to work something like that out. You know Miles Turner wants to be on the team. Miles Turner wants to be a Laker. Go get him. Right? I don't think you need Buddy Heald and Miles Turner, especially if it makes you stuck, especially if it ruins uh, any flexibility for now in the future, where if you have Russ coming off the bench, you can still go get Miles Turner, right? And then maybe it works. Maybe Miles Turner is the piece you need, and it's great, and guys start knocking down shots, and you got your rebounding, and you got your big floor spacing, and Anthony Davis is better at the four than the five. And all is right. Now you got this super sixth man of the year coming off your bench. You know, like maybe that's the case. Maybe that happens. But I do think the Lakers could, you know, really value a a quality trade. But I don't think you need to go the Russell Westbrook route just yet. I still think that sooner or later they're going to end up having to unload him. But go get Miles Turner. You could get Miles Turner. They don't care. It's not like they want Russell Westbrook, right? They just want something for Miles Turner. Right? You take Patrick Beverly, you tell them Patrick Beverly is an expiring contract, right? And you're getting a first round pick for it. Like, that's all you want for Miles Turner. They just want, they want a first round pick because they're taking on Russ and they're giving you Buddy Hilt and Miles Turner. So that's why they want both first. Well, in this case, you're not. You're not getting Russell Westbrook. We're giving you, we're giving you a fair swap. And you still get like a center that can be serviceable for you that you can bring off the bench or start or do whatever. That way, you know, you don't like have no big men, right? We'll give you a big man. We'll give you an expiring contract and we'll give you a first round pick. Or maybe you can work that out to where you give a pick swap in two seconds or something. And then maybe you could keep both first round picks, right? Because your whole argument is, look, we're not giving you Russell Westbrook anymore. Now you don't need to. Now the whole like you need a first for Russell Westbrook. Well, now you don't have to worry about it. And what other offers are there for Miles Turner? And, oh yeah, by the way, Miles Turner said publicly that he wants to go to the Lakers. So if I was the Lakers, I'd be trying to get just him. You know, and then maybe if you want to later on work out Buddy Heald in like a multi-team deal or something. You know, maybe if you work out the Hornets deal, maybe you could just swap Kelly Oubre for Buddy Heald. Like if you really want Buddy Heald, right? And just say, hey, you know, we'll, we'll give you... Kelly Oubre, you give us Buddy Heald, it's a fair swap. You get the same type of player on a, on a one-year deal as opposed to two. You know, or throw in this, we'll throw in another second or something. I mean, there's always ways. But at the end of the day, I think the Lakers need to look at something. And I think that Miles Turner, if you, if you just go get Miles Turner by himself, you're not stuck. That's my biggest concern, is I don't know what Buddy Heald and Miles Turner save the Lakers or change anything. But... If you just get Miles Turner and it doesn't work, you're not stuck. And that's my biggest concern. The Lakers doing a deal that doesn't work out and we're stuck. That's what I don't want. So I wouldn't mind if they just went and got Buddy Hill or uh, Miles Turner by himself. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. What do you want? Do you want to see the Lakers go and get Miles Turner? Like, would you be okay if they just went and traded for Miles Turner? Or do you think you need to get Buddy Heald and Miles Turner? However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them. Good, bad, ugly, somewhere between. Let me know down in the comments section below.